<laughs> why didn't Ric Flair, so he's talking about the Ric Flair match where mm-hmm. he just won his last match or yeah. whatever. Why didn't Ric Flair go out on his back? Or is that a lost tradition as well? I've got a comment on that. Go ahead. Okay, we'll go ahead and make He wants comment. to know why he why Ric Flair didn't lose his last match, like passing the torch, I guess. Passing the torch to who? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, how can you patch the torch? I'm assuming that's what he means by this. I think he read that somewhere and just uh, and put it, that it question. It says, why right. didn't he go out on his back? Is this a lost tradition? Flair did go out on his back. His his real last match was against Shawn Michaels mm-hmm. when Shawn Michaels said, I'm sorry, and mm-hmm. super kicked him and mm-hmm. beat him. That was Flair going out on his back on WWE TV, however many years ago that was. I think that was his last match on TV, lost, put over Shawn Michaels. So really he did. This is a show that he put on, I mean, basically... It's like it's like when we had Top Gun on. Top Gun's not going to book this big show <clears throat> in front of all these people and then lose. This was Flair's. This was Flair's show. Like yeah. he put it on. He's yeah. not. He's not going to lose that match. It's totally. Don't you agree or disagree? I feel like <clears throat> he's not passing the torch to who did he wrestle? Jeff Jarrett. I mean, he's, he's like sixty himself, isn't he? Mm, no, not that old. You don't think? How old is Jeff Jarrett? He looked really good, by the way. Did you see him? He looked great, man. Okay, now. The older you get, the better you look. Oh, so you... you what the what the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I just told you. The older you get, the better you look. Mm-hmm. I totally disagree with that. I look way better when I was 35 than I do when I was 48. I'm talking about in the ring. The way you stand, the way you milk stuff, you learn with facial. I'm no, not talking the, about that. I'm well, talking about his body. I'm talking about his body. Did you? Oh, see? you're just. I, yeah. th- I thought he looked like a million bucks, like his body. Yes, he looked great. Right, because when he started, he was a 160 pound basketball player. He's not a 160 pound basketball player anymore. He's got all day to work out. If you want longevity, you better work out in this business. Unless he's, you're, unless he's not really a wrestler. I mean. He's not? What is he? No, he works in the office for WWE. He's like the... He, he, he works for WWE, like okay. in the office. He's not on WWE TV. He's like 60. He ain't 60. Well, how old do you think Jeff Jarrett Let's is? Let's see. 1986. I want you Googling. But in 1986... Yeah, he, I think he was about 19 in 1986. Check that out. That'd be 76. So he was probably born... Is he, God, he's not much older than me. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. 86. He's 55. Okay. Isn't that, isn't that what I said a while ago? I don't think you said it. Uh, you, you wouldn't put it out there. You were too chicken shit to say it. Okay. Age. Born 67. Yeah, he was 19 in 1986, just like I said. Because <laughs> I was wrestling there, and he told me he just, he was 19 when he first I'll have to had, check this when he was Is that what you had, said? I'll have to rewind this and see if that's what you really said. Anyway, 55? I thought he looked really good, man. Say what you want about him. You didn't even watch it. Anyway, what do you think about this email? What do you think about all that? Should Flair have lost that match? To Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal? Nah. If he was wrestling with somebody that was a major star and he had like whatever, you know what I mean? But first of all, a major It's his own show. Okay. Like, if we're going to do the Hustler Rip Rogers in Seymour, Indiana, right. his last match ever, mm-hmm. and get the whole town of Seymour, and John Mellencamp's there to watch, Baron Hill's there to watch, all your other friends and legends are there to watch, mm-hmm. are you going to lose? I probably would. Oh, you bullshit. You didn't lose when you wrestled there against Did, did, I, ever, did I ever win? Every single time. Oh, okay. You well, I had lost to come back. in Seymour. <laughs> I mean, The Undertaker was there. Mick Foley was there. All these people were there. He's not going to lose that match. God, you and Eric Jimenez, I tell you what. Well, Eric got a big plug. He got a pull, didn't he? 